Hello and welcome to today's episode of TSARP. I'm your host, Andrew Weir. And today, our co-hosts are Sam and Steven. Hi, Sam. Everybody. Hey, everyone. Sam stole my line. <laughs> no, you, you, your line was everybody, which I've never heard of that person, but whoever they are, hello. So today, <laughs> our topics include out brackets because tonight or midnight tonight is when the submissions close. So if you are competing in out brackets, make sure you have your game submitted. Also, apparently, those aren't volleyball nets. Wait, what? If you want more context that? on that, wait a little bit. <laughs> And of course, now that Sam and Steven are here, we will do a, uh, the segment on how they made the intro, because it is a pretty cool intro, and they worked hard on it. But before we get to all of that, here is the intro. So yeah, so um, that was the intro. If you guys didn't know, I say this every episode, I'm not even going to say it. Okay, fine, I am. If you didn't know, we have an intro now. Um, so, Stephen, um, if you want to kick it off with how you made the audio. So, a simple program that is on the website. Yep. It's called Beatbox. My friend Lewis introduced it to me. And, you know, you tap your mouse to place blocks, and each block is a different note. There's many instruments you can choose from, and it's really simple to use. I love it. It's like music to my ears. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it's a really cool program. I remember at Coding Club, uh, actually, Lewis told us all about it. This was last year. I, I heard about it last year, so did all of us. And I actually, I remembered it. And I was like, that that's a cool program. So I said to Steven, I was like, you, you've done some stuff in it. Can you make us, like, intro? Or like a sound intro and i was like sam like can you make the visuals and then he's like sure oh wait we already have something which i didn't remember um but it but it looks a little bit like this you know you've all seen it uh but sam so how did you actually make it um so i used the hatch app and i just used pretty much its basic vector editor um and uh google fonts uh for of course the tsr uh text um, Andrew sparked the idea a while ago of like just typing it in, and I had all the assets, so it just worked out really well. Wow. Yeah, it looks awesome. I just That's... realized, <laughs> hey, I haven't favorited and uniqued it. There we go. Um, Sam just made this public. That wasn't that I didn't actually do it. That that I'm the first one. And there we go. And it's 22 views. Yeah, probably all you though. Um, so yeah, so our main topic of today, and which uh, has been for the past week, is of course out brackets, which there are already a bunch of submissions to just came in in like the last 15 minutes. We got another sprite editor, there's now four attacks on sprite editor, and another hatch, so that's eight attacks on hatch, and I'm still the only one on Python. I think you're gonna win by default. I'm probably yeah. gonna win by default, which is pretty sad, because I wanted to win... Just, you know, like, by making a good game. But then Sam's like, no, no, no. You scared away the competition, which, thank you, Sam. That makes me feel better. <laughs> uh, we, we've been talking about for the past few days about uploading your logo. It's kind of late now. <laughs> well, no, you still have yeah. a bunch of days before the judging ends. Um, but, you know, upload your logo. What Mr. Ferrara did, which I thought was smart, is he manually changed like all of the Hopog students that didn't already make their logo just to the default like Hopog Eagle, which is nice because it's like something there and not just this Roman building. And it kind of says like, yeah. hey, I'm from Hopog. And yeah, so it's cool. Um, other coaches, if you know, if you want, um, or if you're listening, you know, doing that would be cool, you know, like for Mineola. The Mustang, you know, or the Ram, you know, for um, Merrick Avenue, that would be cool. So, um, like I said, I am the only one in Python. I updated my game a little bit today. I added sound, and I guess I really haven't announced my game or really shown my game, so I guess I'll do that now. So, as you all know, it's Python. I used Python Mini. I did it in Python Processing. And actually, I shouldn't show my code. I'll blur this. I'll edit it, and I'll do that, you know, little movie magic. Um, but 
I'll have to mute the site because I don't want you all to be deafened by this um, sound because the music is kind of loud. Uh, but it's a fighting game. So it's called Mascot Fighter 2, of course, off of Street Fighter. It gives a little thing about how to play. You can press any button to exit except the mouse. That was finicky. Um, and then you can pick any mascot. Say I go with the ram. And then you have two attacks. The charged attack, you have a chance, as you can see, to do a lot of damage. Um, or you have the chance to do no damage at all. That is because the story, the story reason is that the ram or whatever um, you're using, whatever mascot, has to charge up, you know, take some time, you know, you know just a few seconds to really pack that punch. Um, but that gives the other person or the other mascot time to move out of the way. But if you do land your attack, then it's a lot more damage. Light attack, you'll hit every time, but it's less damage. So it's kind of like, um, it's a little bit of luck if you get the, if you succeed. But it's also strategy, like, am I just going to click light attack the whole time? Or am I going to take the chance? Because the AI does take the chance to do it. So yeah. you might, that might be risky. They might succeed and you might lose, you know. So it's a little bit of strategy, a little bit of luck. Um, and yeah, it was fun to make. I made it, you know, in only a few days. I submitted it two days ago. Of course, I added the sound today. Um, so yeah, so that's my game. Steven, would you like me to share your game? Yeah, except I will explain it. <laughs> yes. So, um. yeah, I made a game. It's called School of Skirmish. You know, I stole those words from all skirmishes I've been in. It's quite All simple. <laughs> and, um, whatchamacallit. It's similar to what Andrew's game is. You know, it's a fighting game. Except mine has weapons, I mean, defense tools. And, you know, it's kind of straightforward. You can press wins. Oh, well, I'm just showing it now. You can press wins to add up the wins. Yeah. And there's all different yeah. weapons, which is cool. There's the oh. AI. I'm not very good. Wait, yeah. what's the shooting button? I didn't read the I didn't down read... button. Down button. Down. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is fun, but I'm really bad at it. Yeah. Shoot. Ah. This is cool. Oh. Some weapons are overpowered, like the laser. <laughs> Player two. Uh, <laughs> wins. Oh. oh yeah, you can add up wins. It can go up to infinite, or it goes back to one. Wow, I have infinite. Wow. Yeah. And then you can you can play against. Yeah, you can click other skins. You can also play against someone else if you're right next to them. Wow, that's cool. I can. Yeah, there's a missile. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, that's that's a big missile. This is cool. This, yeah, this is really cool. Um, Sam, <laughs> I would share your game, but it's not done, right? Uh, no, working on it right now actually. So we will share Sam's game tomorrow once it is all done. And once every game is submitted, we'll know the total tallies of, um, you know, like who. <laughs> if, if I have any competition or if I just automatically move on to the final round. Um, you know, I already said that my only goal was to be Best Python. And it looks like that will probably happen. Um, but in my, I, I don't think I'll win overall for reasons like Steven's game is awesome. <laughs> and I bet everyone else's game is awesome. I bet like every game can beat mine because it's Python. Um, yeah. But yeah, so it will be cool to see the winners. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be fun. We will announce all that stuff on the winners. And I believe the winners will be announced Monday. Actually, I'll give a PSA. So it's going to look a little weird, apparently, the combat log. So Mr. Farrar was explaining this to me today. But how it's going to work is, say, like, um, for instance, right, Python. Right now, I am the only one on Python. So I, like, right out of the gate, I will get that territory. But say that um, if at the by the end of tonight, two other people then get Python. Um, or submit to Python, right? So when the judging starts to go through, it will look like, hey, I got the territory. And then if the guy that uh, that submit, uh, su submitted his project right after me was better, it will say, he got the territory. But then if the guy after that, it will say, that guy then got the territory from the guy before that, you know? So it will it won't just be like, the last guy got that territory. It will show kind of like the progression um, which is basically just based on who submitted first. Now, that doesn't give you any advantages, because if you're still the best game, 
you'll win no matter when you submit it, right? Um, so for Hatch, that's going to look pretty weird because, Stephen, you were the first ones to submit. So it will say, you yeah. got the territory. But then the guy after that maybe isn't as good. So he, you defended against him and then the next guy up. So that's what the combat log is going to be. It's not just going to be three attacks. It's going to be all these different attacks of people going against each other. So, of course, there, the majority of people have not submitted, but there are a decent amount. There's a 13. So we're waiting. I believe there's a total of 45 participants. Uh, yeah, I, I was wondering if every, like, if the full amount from every school did participate. There are these extra territories to the sides. I guess those were just there. I don't really know. I guess in case, like, there were extra or something. I don't know why those are there. Um, but I believe every school has exactly 15. So, yeah. So, it will get announced who the winner is about Monday, I believe, at 12 o'clock. You'll start either seeing them go through or it will finish up. I don't really know. Maybe I could get some more info about that. So, we mentioned at the beginning of today's episode that there are some skill dashes going on. So, this was the Saville skill dash. It was an inter-district skill dash. You know, there were no other schools. It was just Sayville. Yeah, um, yeah so some kid won really quickly there. <laughs> That's funny. He won yeah. from, like, the beginning. <laughs> that, that guy must be, like, the best um, in their school. You know, I'm surprised. It happened at 10-something a.m. Oh, interesting. School. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I do see that now. Um so I guess, well, it's like an hour long. So I wonder if it was like an extended class period or something yeah. or like maybe like from like their class period into their lunch or something like that. Um, oh, yes. this this is kind of a Kidoyo glitch. Alert, Kidoyo. Um, <laughs> you see, it gives the number Kido, yeah. doing oh. replay and the replay. You already know who won and that. that yeah, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> um so, yeah, so this was one of the hackathons. I don't know if the other one was a skill dash. It might have been, like, a skirmish or something um, or just a mini hack. But this was uh, – there were there – were uh, Dev was saying that there were five total schools participating in hackathons, so three from out brackets and then two here. This was obviously one school, so there was probably either a skill dash or a mini hack in that other school. We don't have a lot of info on that. I could not find anywhere the replay of that. Um, if we do get that, we'll talk about it tomorrow. So thank you all for listening, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, random people on the Internet. Bye.